Hi, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in to Heavenly Sent People You Should Know. As you guys know, my name is Cynthia. I have a youth organization called Heavenly Sent Youth where we expose inner city kids to different outside of neighborhoods. And when I say different, I mean like we teach them tennis, golf, bowling, skating, fishing, archery. We've done overnight camping. And over this pandemic, I was able to buy a horse. So we've been teaching kids horse um horse from a to z um i've been had the pleasure to network and work with other horse um owners right other horse farm owners and so um i appreciate them for allowing us to come on their land we actually filmed a commercial facebook um allowed us to film a commercial on their network so that's pretty cool um I'm just let you guys check that out and um you know you guys know what we do i'm excited again you guys can follow us on facebook and heavenly sent youth instagram heavenly sent youth what else is it? tiktok heavenly sent youth <laughs> i mean all the platforms is heavenly sent youth and so we have so many things coming up as a matter of fact we have a outing called court of dreams and what that is is we're going to have 60 kids to play a scrimmage game on the Wind Trust Arena, the same arena that the WNBA uh, team, WNBA Sky team plays on. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to take them to eat after, and then they're going to sit on the floor and watch the WNBA girls practice, and we're going to give each one of them a ticket to the game. So that's so exciting. And who gets to play on the court? With the W, well, that's the court that WNBA played on. So we got that, and we also have a, a camping trip. I got to check with my business partner and see if that's still happening. We got an overnight camping trip at the end of this month from Monday to, nope, from Friday to Sunday. And also with that, we're going to have 60 kids. So we got all this cool stuff going on. As you guys, uh, if you were paying attention, you you didn't hear me say basketball or football. And that's only because that's so easily accessible to the kids in our neighborhood. I mean, so many people are doing that. So we want to show them something different. And so those are just a few of the things we do. We do online Zoom, table etiquette, team bullying, sex trafficking, anything that we think the kids need to be aware of, we provide a resource. And so with that being said, this young man sitting next to me, I seen an article on Facebook and I said, you know what, that's definitely somebody that we should know. And so I'm going to let him tell you who he is. What he doing? What he got going on? His name is Mr. Jaleel. Also, I met him uh, a week ago, and um, he um, he. Uh, what did you do? You said, "What do I do?" What did you do? He had an event <laughs> over at the center. Of yeah, at the uh, at the Roosevelt's. We had an event at the Roosevelt Collection. He allowed people to come and get hair shots. Um, what else you allow us to do? Uh, video, we did video shoots, we did uh, video shoots, we allowed people to network, some people, uh, clothing designers gave away free gear. Uh, it was just an all around great time for people to come out um, and give away things that people wanted. So people got to, if they, if they did photography, they did free photo shoots. If they did videography, they gave away, they did shot free, I know, video for reels and different stuff like that. Um, and then we also had a great friend of mine, Samuel Sutton, um, he gave away merchandise for a, you know one of a company that he owns merchandise t-shirts jogging awesome. pants so really really dope event and everything was free and who can go to an event and get a free headshot or, <laughs> or free reel when i seen the post i was like i gotta call this guy i'm on my i'm coming where you gonna be at and so i appreciate the fact that you know he provided that opportunity for others to come and network and just get whatever they needed that day so that was so cool so Jaleel, with that being said who are you what do you do where'd you come from how'd you get into um Whatever it is that you're doing, tell us. <laughs> I, know, right? I got you. So <laughs> I was actually born and raised on the west side of Chicago. West side. Um, you know that was that was lit. Um, but my parents got divorced, and so when I was eight, so we kind of split up and went out from there, and we went out to West far far. We actually ended up moving out to Oswego. Wow. And um, I always mention that part of my life because uh, you know I go from living in inner city Chicago. Um, to then moving out to Oswego. And at that time, in 20, it was Obama just had one election. That was like 27, 2007, 2008, when we had moved out to Oswego. And we were like one of three black families there that, wow. at that time. And, uh, you know, you really got to experience uh, how to code switch. You learn how to, you know, learn all those logistics of things. And uh, then we moved from there. We moved to Lyle, 
I think we moved. No, we moved to Aurora from there, then Lyle, Illinois, and then we moved to Westchester, then Bellwood, and now I live in Hillside. But um, I mentioned all that moving because it's allowed me to always have to meet new people. I love it. And I, every time I met new people, I met new personalities. And when I met new personalities, I realized that there's a lot to life. And so as we did that, um, really got to just grow and develop and learn people. So um, what do I do? Well, um, I do a mixture of things, but what do I love to do is, is to help people reach their purpose, help people walk out in who they were called to be. I love it. And um, that's where we found it, Your Dreams Matter. Oh, okay. And the funny story about Your Dreams Matter is I actually started Your Dreams Matter that was originally supposed to be a nonprofit organization. Um, and that started something just separately where I just wanted to have my own nonprofit because I've been doing it for years and the legal reasons of having a nonprofit. Well, then uh, we got invited to a, my alumni high school uh, to speak at, you know, speak to students. And while doing that, um, you know, a lot of you are asking, like, who are you all? You need a name. Like, totally. You know, we, we need to know who you guys are. I want you to come to our school, this and this and that. And with all that being said, uh, next thing we know, um, we, 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 I'm like, you know, I don't want to start nothing new. I got this business. I got that. I got this. Why don't I just make this Your Dreams Matter? So it started the seven guys doing random acts of kindness turned into Your Dreams Aww. Matter. And um, now we have so many events coming up, so much free stuff for the community. Um, but our goal and what we stand for and what we'll continue to say, we're a community-based organization that's geared to push out, walk out love, to do random acts of kindness and help people reach their purpose. I love it. Um, and I'm sitting here smiling because it's amazing how people connect. And so I have a book out and my motto is um, follow your dreams. Mm. And so my book is called Chasing My Dreams. And it's me on a horse and some kids running out behind me because, you know. I've seen that with the pink jacket. That's totally me. Yes. Yeah. And yes. so, um, yeah, I mean, dreams do come true. And yeah. so it's just a matter of putting in the work and c connecting with the right people, like you said. Um, and, and that's why we're here. You know, I seen a post and I called you up and you answered and I came to the event. And, you know, I'm like, hey, I need you on my show. I like what you're doing. So with that being said, um, you mentioned earlier to me that you... Uh, went to school to be a broadcaster, correct? Yeah, so I actually went to, uh, 2019 happens, this is post-COVID, or before, pre-COVID, um, I went to Old Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma oh, okay. uh, to study communications, right? Um, and I had already done work with like uh, Heart Radio and I had done some stuff with some networks and stuff like that, so I was like, okay, cool, I really love to speak, I really love, you know, my voice and, you know, so-and-so, so 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 I think I really could do this. And then I always, I imitate reporters all the time. i like, breaking news, we're here live downtown Chicago. That's it. And I do it all the time. So I was like, I could really do this. And so um, I fell in love with communications. And so um, I did a year of that, uh, three semesters. So I did two at Old Roberts, and then COVID hit. Okay. COVID hit in the midst of my freshman year. And I'm already really not a um, a big student. I'm a, I love to learn, but I'm not a sit down, you know, but I'm a people's person. So I could do the classroom, but then moving to online, it was just like, oh no, this is not gonna work. So I went from being online and I just made a decision. I was scared, cause I tell my mom, like, <laughs> I don't wanna do this anymore, but my mom just told me to make sure I had a plan. I like and it. And make sure that um, whatever I do, that um, I was gonna stick through with it, so. She's been supporting me all the way. I love it. Are you only child? No, okay. I'm not at all. <laughs> we got a village. Okay. <laughs> An entire village. I have, it's a shame, but I don't even know how many I have. Yeah, I think that's eight. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> really? Y'all see this, right? <laughs> eight that I know about. <laughs> okay. Oh, you sound like me. My father has about 20 kids. Every year it's like, hey, this is your brother. I'm like, oh, hey, how you doing? I promise. <laughs> If I told you my last name, you'd be like, yeah, I know that name, but I ain't going to say it on TV. Because <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, so that's, 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 um, that was that journey. And then leaving, uh, what, what benefited was the George Floyd. You know, when oh, George okay. Floyd happened, right, in the midst of COVID, um, it allowed me to actually hit the ground. And so I purchased this road, reported microphone, hit the ground. And I was just doing on-the-ground community work, interviewing people um, and, and doing stuff like that. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I love that, but I realized like I was I had a platform already. I was giving people access, but I really wanted to get to the point where I could use my platform to really shift things in okay. a good way. And I wanted to still connect with the youth, right? Okay. Because it's like 
my generation loves to party, they love to have fun, they love to be excited, but then also there's that group that doesn't, who still wants to just be safe and, I like you it. know, so that's where, you know, the event that we have coming up on the 26th is coming, where it's, you can come out, have a good time, but also still bring your creative aspect, come network, come get free, whatever you need, you know, so uh, we're just excited. Wow, that's so cool. And so, um... You said we. So, how many do you have in your team? Yeah, so my team. That's that's something that's always growing, of course. Um, so, um, the vice president of Your Dreams Matters, Osiris Johnson. So he's one. Okay. Um, then there is David uh, Owusu. Um, David is the media director. Okay. Um, and then we also have Vondria. Uh, she is the partnerships director. Nice. Uh, Samuel Sutton, he is the logistics and event director. And then I have Mr. Jordan Strada, who is over uh, communications. Wow. Um, so, so far, there is, I believe it's six of us, six yeah. of us on the team. And uh, we, I mean, from every literature, statements we put out from events to planning, um, it couldn't be done without them. They, David, he, all the photographers who came out, David oversaw that. He coined it, you know, you go to the so-and-so. Uh, Sam and Vond are always making sure, like, the next event coming out, we're planning from head to toe. That's nice. Um, knocking out everything out. So, shout out to them. Absolutely. And so it's very important to have a team because, yeah. you know, we want to do things um by yourself and that can be so overwhelming and so stressful so kudos to you. you you know you sound so polished how old are you 21 21 okay so you're 20 when uh yahoo finance put that article yeah. out and so old. that article that they put out can you mm -hmm. explain to us what it was because i put that in mm -hmm. in the uh caption yeah so i actually did an interview with a uh somebody who's right toward them um and at the time um i was in a certain industry where um it was all about really impacting people right seeing growth in people and for the the last few years that's all I've done I've spoken at youth conferences churches um, I've spoken at um, I mean schools uh, you name it and um, you know somebody picked up the story and learned about what we were doing and what we had planned on and actually that got picked up because of another article actually um, that was already out okay and so um, that was exciting you know really really big opportunity to see um, myself be you know featured in that one and about a few more um, Articles. Some actually, some local Chicago articles as well too. You know, I um, after reading your story and hearing about you, it was imperative that I have you on because I deal with youth, and I always try to tell them that despite where you come from and your environment, you can still be great. And so, with that being said, can you tell us? You said you you moved a couple times. Can you tell us how were you able to? Uh, I'll say uh, dodge, if I if that. If that's a better choice where dodge the, the, the violence or the street gangs or mm -hmm. the, the peer pressure. If if I could be honest, right, because I don't I don't wanna lie. <laughs> uh, for me it was understanding at a young age where I wanted to go. Okay. I was exposed like I said, I was exposed to so much. Okay. Like I left school and my parents took us downtown to tutor, right? I went to tutoring and they exposed us to Cubs game and Sox game at seven, eight years old. They exposed us that you could be so much more. I remember my first time seeing a white person. I didn't think they existed outside of TV. But yeah. having that little exposure opened my, oh, I could be a cop. Seeing Obama as the president of the United States, I could be the president. I could be whatever I wanted to be. And from that moment on, what I did was, um, I just made a decision like anything or anybody that could come in harm's way of my goals and my dreams, I couldn't be a part of. I love it. And see, and that's one of the words that I use in my, my daily speeches. Um, you have to expose people. You have to expose kids to different because I, I, another thing I like to say is that you can't, you can't dream what you don't see. Mm. So in order for us to do better with our children, as he just mentioned, he's 21 years old, and I've been doing it with my son over over 20 years. And so you have to expose him to different things. You heard him say that um, his first time seeing a Caucasian person or his mom early on exposed him to White Sox and Bulls and that sort. And so I'm at a place, and it's funny, with my son to where every morning he gets up and like, Mom, what are we doing? I'm like, dude, what is it that we haven't done? <laughs> so, you know, it's like he so used to us doing stuff because, you know, we, I can't tell you honestly the last time my son was able to just go outside and just be outside, like you see kids walking up the street to the store, wherever they're going, my son does not take part in any of those, no. Mm -hmm. He has to be monitored. And I do that because like you said, it's easy to get 
in trouble, hard to get out. Mm. And so you have to, um, you know, you have to be active with these kids. You have to expose them. You have to show them things. You have to put things in front of them. Because if not, you know, what what they gonna do? Video game, the, yeah. the computer. Uh, and so, yeah, I see so many parents pretty much just giving their kids an iPad, iPad or a cell phone. The kids in their room eight hours a day doing God knows what. And it's like, no, yeah. that's not how you raise a child. That's not, you're not teaching a child anything by sitting them in a room with that. The world to, is teaching them. Ex exactly. And so that's very, I'm, ha I'm happy you said that. So with that being said, you did mention you have another event coming up when? June 26th, so we have okay. an event. This one, so we changed the name of it. The first one, Chicago uh, Content Creators Meetup. Okay. Um, and the t name came because, in my idea, and I guess I, I got to express what content creator means to me. I believe that everybody's a content creator. Whether you're the guy that cleans and does maintenance in a high school, you create content. Your school is the content that you create. If you're the guy that drives taxi you're a content creator if you do youtube if you do music if you whatever you do to me everybody's a content creator and so um i changed the name a little bit so this one's actually called chicago's networking link up i love it uh that way it really gives people that more feeling that it's more of a not a party <laughs> but a link up where you're coming to network and anytime the word network for me it, it's, it signifies the word business, okay. that we're going to network. And then on the fly, you also see that we're doing, once again, free videography, free photography. So we'll have over 70 plus videography, 70 plus uh, photographers that'll be coming out nice. um, again. But this event, this time, is gonna be at the beach. We'll be at the beach's house. I got 21 days, 21 days to get in shape. Um, I don't know why I planned this so late. You know what, please put me in the place. <laughs> I just told you I'm getting ready for the red carpet. <laughs> Uh, for the Grammy, so I got to be red carpet ready. So I got to tighten up. I got to so y'all put for real, put me in that little circle because I need, I need, <laughs> I need the accountability. I can do a lot of things, but when it comes to weight and and exercises and health, you know, I can't. I'm sorry, that's not one of my strong points. I need some people to be like, hey, you know, we got to get up. So I'm gonna be looking for y'all posts like or that text message like you ready? We got it. We we got it. Well, you know, I'll be honest. What what has helped me big time is so intermediate fasting, cutting out all carbs, red okay. meat. Stuff and basically like, and that's without working out. I lost thirty pounds. I started. I did that from no, no when I, when I Houston. I want to say that was maybe April, maybe the March to April. I did that. Really? Mm -hmm. I lost wow. thirty pounds in, in about three, three, four weeks, doing that same thing. Um, and then when I would eat, I would do fruit, guacamole, um, and then if we ate food, it was proportioned. That changed. I, I went from eating. But when you do intermediate fasting, it changed my proportions anyway. Okay. I didn't want the large plate. I was barely hungry then. Wow. Because, see, I sit in a car, and, um, yeah, I know. So it's like I want to stop and get a snack. And so now what I've started doing is bringing bananas and things mm. of that sort into the, um, into the, uh, into my car, so therefore I'll have to stop at the gas station and get some cakes or get this and that. So yeah, I need I need accountability in that area. <clears throat> nice. But at the same time, the reason why I'm not pushing is because I was in a car accident January 22nd, and wow. so yeah, I was rear-ended by a jeep going at least 100 miles an hour, and so my body's still kind of like a little tense, and uh, I'm restricted on certain things that I can do. So, but it's put me in a state where I'm like, no, oh, because I'm used to playing basketball and running with my son. Active. Exactly. Yeah. So now I can't do some of the stuff. I'm like, really? Well, you can do it. We won't use the word can't Thank because you. as long as you can dream. You know, you said something about team and dream earlier, and I wanted to say this before it just hit me again. It says that your dream can go only go as far as your team. I like that. And say it again. Your dream can go only go as far as a team. And I forget how to how to put it all the way, but I know it goes some some like your dream can only go as far as your team drives or something along those lines. Okay. And what it basically means like is sometimes like ourselves we can't get our dream to work. We need. To, I know some people are like I'm gonna get it no matter what. That's the biggest lie in the world. You need a team. I agree. But you will only get to the dream based on the team that you have with That's, you. I like that. And my team is changing every season. When I, I first like got into speaking and doing events, I had an entire team. I had about the same amount of people on a team, and none of them, and all of them are were still great friends, still close, but in that season, they were good for that season. Wow. I'm in a new season of my life That's where, deep. you know, things have changed. And I was just having this conversation with somebody else and they thought I was being mean or trying to tell them they shouldn't be around certain people or whatever. And it's like, no, that's not the point. 
if you're in a boat and you're the only one in a boat that's rowing and other people in a rope, that's a problem. Yeah. You think? And I always say everybody that's in your circle, not in your circle for your good. Some people just in your circle just to see what kind of blessings you got so they mm. can attach themselves to what you're doing. Come on. And then and move accordingly. Come on. And so you got to be mindful of the company you, you keep. You know what that's called? That's called borrowed influence. <laughs> people, some people will stay around you because what they can take from you. I love it. And you 21 saying this. And it, it just, it, it hits me because I just had this conversation with a friend of mine. I was like, I'd be so always trying to be a loving person, always look out for the next person. I can see that. And um, people will take advantage sometimes of how nice and how welcome you can be. And, That's true. Um, they'll say, oh, you know so-and-so. Connect me to hey, so-and-so, so-and-so. And you'll be like, hold on. You know. Right. Hello, how are you? No good like, morning. You know, no good morning. Like, <laughs> and, and I get those texts. You know, I know as you can imagine. You get those type of texts. Hey, let me get fat hours. Let me get this. Let me, can, can you help me with this? And at, at, at some point, you have to get to the point where you're like, there is a law of sowing and reaping. And whatever I sow, there must be a harvest from it. I love it. And if I don't harvest from it, I'm not saying that I need something back, but based on the principles and faith that I believe in, if I'm not getting the same harvest back along the journey of the planting, the, the watering, the sunlight, obviously something's lacking. I, I Totally and so I, um, I always reevaluate the friends and people. Like, if I'm sowing it to you and I'm not seeing any harvest back or you're not sowing to me, I'm not saying you're a bad person. I just know that in this <laughs> season, right, it, it, I, I'm from, I live down south for a little bit, watermelon season has its seasons. <laughs> so if we in the winter season and, 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 and you bringing me watermelon, I'm like, something's not right. But then the okay. summertime, and you can't provide the seeds that have been planted for that. I'm going to know, okay, it's not that you're a bad person. You're just not meant for this season of my life. I love it. When that season comes up, then I can have you back. So you know how when you go to the gym, you have to work on, if you work on your left arm, you have to work on your right arm, right? right. So if you don't if you work on your left arm and not work on your right arm, what happens? Well, you, this arm will be bigger than this My arm. point exactly. So I see every relationship, friendship, relationship, whatever it may be, mm. as going to the gym. For instance, what's that bar that you pick up? The, what do you call it? With the weights on the end? Um, well, I don't lift. I'm not or a whatever lifter, that bar but is. That's, but the it's thing just that the bar. Okay, call so it we'll the say bar. the bar. So if I go in the gym and I pick up the bar with one arm, mm -hmm. so the other arm is is so that's a two man oh, I see what you're a two man wow. team. So in other words, if I'm if we like you just mentioned, if you're my friend and we're working together, and like you said, if I'm not seeing anything, if you're not giving me anything, if we're not exchanging. Uh, uh, contacts, relationships, resources, whatever, and, you know, I'm sitting here doing all the work, and then mm -hmm. you just sitting over here, you know, waiting on me to tell you, oh, hey, you know, this is what we got. No, it don't work like that. You, mm -hmm. you need to move around because, no, like you said, I'm reaping a harvest. I'm putting it in. You can't go to the bank and take and, it out. And you ain't putting nothing in. Mm -hmm. So, and, and so Oof. many people like that. Like, no, I'm, you have and to. You know, that's out. technically illegal. <laughs> and let me, let, on a spiritual, I I in a practical that. way. It's like, say I we go in to buy a property together. Okay. Right? And we go to sell it. Right? Well, we go to sell it. Who gets the money? We do. We. But then say a third person tries to benefit off of it. <laughs> Legally, you have no ownership of anything we get from that. Better than that, I heard this one thing by my mentor, Mr. Justin Owens. Uh, he said this. He says that he sorts people out based on the population. He says 70% of the people in the world, they're just negative. They're always going to be doubters. They're always going to be upset. They're always wow. negative. He says, then you have another 20% who, they're okay. You know, they're, 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 70 you know, and 20 is 90. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then okay. you have, uh, even within that, you have about a good 7% of people <laughs> who, they're okay. They all sound to listen, but eh. And then in that 3%, you'll get those good people. So say, for example, I meet a very negative person. Okay. I'm no longer upset that they're negative or that they're mean and that, that way. I just know what? I'm part of the 70%. When I meet somebody who's happy, they're hot. I know they're part of the 3%. When I meet somebody, they're part of the 20%. So I now when I encounter people, I understand because of the population, that's just who you are. <laughs> I no longer can get upset. And that's, and that's dope that you said that because, again, you can't change what you can't control. Mm. So I am who I am. And so like you just said, if I'm coming to you negative, then that just means that 
obviously I'm not the person for you or you're going to deal with the, the negativity that I throw on right. you. But if you're a decent individual, you're going to be like, no, nah, I ain't finna be, no, nah, I'm cool. Because some people will deal with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. some people, you know, I, I, I hear people say all the time, well, that's just who I am, oh, you know. God, I hate that. I'll be like, bro, if that's who you are, <laughs> you need to move around. Right. Who says that? Yeah, I expect kids to act like that. Right. He as an adult, at what point you're going to change? And so I, I'm glad you said that. So. For instance, like in families, you know, family members be like, oh, that's just how my family is. No, that's how you deal with them. Right. I'm not going to accept that. So, therefore, that person need not even be in my little, you know, in my <laughs> vicinity. Because <laughs> if, if you don't want to change, then you're a messed up individual. And so, like you said, as much as I put in and I go hard in the paint for anybody that's in my circle, but when I see somebody coming in that's not even giving 10%, I got a problem with that. And so now you mad because that person that you brought in only giving 10% and we both going 90 mm. No, we ain't mm. finna do that. No. Mm. It's, it's hard out there. As I say, <laughs> hard out there for a pimp. So, no, y'all got to make sure. So, the moral right. of the story is what I'm saying is you have to make sure that the company you keep are worthy to Facts. be in your circle. Like you just said, there's a season for everything. Mm -hmm. And so, like you said, not that I don't like you or you're a bad person. It's just that our energy don't match. And it's okay. You know? Mm -hmm. Dreaming dreaming takes place. That's why I love Your Dreams Matter title so much. Because people think dreaming happens when you're asleep. But dreaming happens when you're awake too. I agree. But your dreams are only as big as what you can see around you. Right? When your eyes are closed, you can see beyond that. And so when your eyes are open, you gotta ask. Because I'm I'm big on my eye gate, my ear gate, what do I see, what I'm gonna listen to. That's why I don't really listen to anything. I, the only thing I listen to a little gospel, a little worship. Outside I listen on podcasts and audios because I understand it is so dangerous. Even if you don't realize it, your actions, everything you do, That's you know. True. And, and people be like, Oh, Jaleel, or I meet one person, they're like, Oh, um, mo most of the people that are close to me, they'll be like, You're the they know like when I crack jokes on social media, you're the same person offline. <laughs> Why? Because I understand who I practice behind the scene will be who I am. In public wow that's dope so yeah i mean it, it it's it's important and uh i'm a big stickler on that and that's why i moved the way i moved because you know i know that everybody that come into my circle you know not meant for the good of what i'm trying to do and so once you see that you just weed the people away not personal you know it, it is what it is business because how can you move forward when you got people that's pulling you back and see, and that can be family and friends. And so, guess what? I've got my, I've made better connections with strangers mm -hmm. and supporters with strangers than I did people with, you know, that's in my inner circle. And I'm like, why is that the case? Yeah. Is it because the people they know me for who I am and they don't want me to, what well, I don't know, prosper or move ahead or they, what you know, well, what is it? I don't get it. So, mm -hmm. it's we'll, weird. we'll just let them know that their dreams matter too. I like that. <laughs> I like yeah. that. So I appreciate you, sir, taking time out your busy schedule to come and come and chat with me. Um, you got a friend in me, and uh, I look forward to the stuff that you got going on. And uh, as always, I want to thank Can TV for giving me this platform to have people come on. Thank my family and my supporters and my son who's been there for me and my business partner who helps me with all my business stuff. I appreciate you. and. Um, of course, thank God for just being who he is in my life. Is there anybody you want to give a shout out to, sir? To the Lord himself first. To my beautiful mother, my queen, oh. Kiata Anthony, and uh, to all my great friends and family. I can't name everybody, but shout out to Vondria, Sam, Osiris, David, Jordan Keese, Malik. Y'all know, I, I'm probably just mess Jordan's mother, y'all, Jordan, Jordan, all y'all, man. Uh, I hope I ain't miss nobody, but I love all of y'all dearly. I mean the world to me, and I can't wait for us to continue to grow together. Y'all can follow us at Your Dreams Matter. It's actually spelled You Are Dreams Matter. Uh, Instagram, Facebook as well. As again, you guys, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time with Heavenly Scent. You people, you should know.